Manatee Show! Hello everybody, this is the Manatee Show here, and this is a review of the Power Rangers Super Mega Force... What is this? Turbo Falcon Megazord. Yeah, this one's cool. I really like it. Of all the Super Mega Force stuff, I like it the most. Blah, blah, blah. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I like this one the most. So, those. so yeah, this isn't the mode it should be in. I should be showing you it in the other mode. So I'm gonna quickly transform this. Damn it! Damn it! Okay, fix that. Fix that. Fix that. And meanwhile, you can all look at the box. Yay! The box. This one's not that hard, but it's just simple. Uh, it's sort of simple. It's got a very nice gimmick. Okay, explain something while I'm doing this. In Japan, this Zord, the way this Zord was, was it wasn't, it didn't become its own Megazord. It was a complete, um, it was the final, final, final thing in the line, in the series of toys to buy. Um, and it is... In Japan, it was called Malk Al Mac Mal Mac Alcon. It was a very weird Zord, cause it it became a race car. Well, it was a race car. That's all it was. And then it could be taken apart and put a put into a uh, taken apart and put into a. Uh, well, first you could keep it a race car and put the. Um, main Megazord, but just red, blue, green, uh, the main Megazord, Gokaio, in it, and he could ride the ride it as if, like what he does with the wolf Megazord thingy, not wolf, um, uh, I forget what it's called, the, uh, no, the lion Megazord, I'm sorry, um, he could ride it, and that's what he, so he essentially just rides it, uh, and then it becomes the ultimate final version, so that's pretty much all he did, uh, but it was very expensive, and it cooperated with the engine souls, which are the Japanese versions of the engine cells for RPM. It is the RPM tribute sword, it's the love child of... Uh, Bear Zorg and Speed Ore, but that doesn't matter now. Currently, we don't even, it's not even in the show yet, so I can't tell anything of that. But here it comes with a RPM key. One sec, gotta move my lighting. Boop. It comes with an RPM key. Let's check that guy out. So flip it up. He looks really good, actually. Um, here, if anyone wants to scan the code... One sec. My camera won't focus. Okay, there. da da -bum. Basic stuff, communicator beep and everything. So yeah, um, let's take a look at the box, just a basic, um, generic Megazord box, got a picture of what it does, engine revs, doesn't really work, um, got a picture of it on the side that looks sort of like it. Sort of like it might be the picture of it 
in the in the show, but it also looks like it's the picture of the toy, so it's weird. Shows basic key advertisement. Shows what it does. I covered this in the Q-Rex Megazord video, but Ninja Megazord, motor, new motorcycles, stuff. This guy, the Q-Rex, combined to this, or this guy could be this. The Q-Rex could replace his arms. Nah. Apparently the engine revs if you insert the key. Um, and he has Robo mode and Turbo Falcon mode. And then if you look at the side, here you have the Unlock the Power Sweepstakes. Download the app, the Key Scanner app, uh, scan keys, and then just scan your Ranger key instantly for a chance to win. Um, and it shows a chance to win Curex, Armored Silver, um, Legendary Megazord, this guy, or the Fighting Silver, or the Morpher. Um, entered, sweep, entered sweepstakes for a chance to win, and you could guest star on Power Rangers, which is actually a really cool prize. So, yeah, and you're, you get a walk-on roll, and a certain amount of lines, and a morph sequence to a Ranger of your choice. Which is actually really cool. So, yeah. So let's bring this dude back in. Lower the camera. Just fits in front of me. So, yeah. This is him. As a race car, he doesn't do much. He drives around. He picks up hot cars. Something. I don't know. Um... Takes him to the gas station. <laughs> so, yeah, he is the... Well, this is what he is, pretty much. He's got a giant-ass spoiler on the back. Ah, sorry, it's actually supposed to be like that, because he's got... Yeah, He's got a giant-ass spoiler on the back. Um, uh, well, sorry, exhaust. He's got, the, uh, he does have a giant ass spoiler on the back with this weird thing on the top. He, he's a Formula One race car, so, yeah. That's pretty much what he is. Uh, this can lift up right here. Flip up. Take your guy. Do, do. Actually, you don't have to put the arms up. You just sort of put him like that. There's a hole right there. And if you click him in, put your feet in, put his arms down, and you can click that down, so he's driving the car! Look, Ma, I'm driving! <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah, when, his end, when the key is in, it does that. Makes a horribly annoying, annoying and loud sound of. You'd think it'd be winding up to power something, but it is literally just going. Ah. That's all it does. You'd think it powers something or something. And it also makes it harder to move when the key is inserted. So you wanna. Dis disconnect the key, because now he just drives normally, and the engine revs when the key is out. So yeah, we'll just keep the key in, sort of. Look ma, no hands. Wait, wait. Look ma, no hands! <laughs> No. So, let's get this guy transformed into its mode thingy thingy mode. Actually, no, he's got a ability in this mode. I'm sorry, I forgot. So, let's take our legendary Megazord. Oh. Take him here. Drive this guy off a cliff. Uh, go like this. Bye. And bye. We don't need you. Might as well take the swords out now. It's helpful. Bop. Fix his helmet there. Drive him over here and maneuver his thingies so he fits in there. It's sort of 
that. Yeah, there. He looks completely retarded. I really don't like how this looks. Because he's, he's in the one part of the car that's thick. So it looks like he's just... I'm riding the very... Like... <laughs> if it was okay, something you can do that might that would look really good, much better, would be if they just made foot pads. Like seriously, okay, it makes more sense for the red lion because that's what um, they did in the like the Pegasus lion. The giant, the lion became a giant lion, and the ISIS Megazord rode on it. Makes more sense. It's a reference and everything, and it's also just sort of becomes a centaur. This is a car. It's a damn car. I think it would have been much cooler if you just made this a little wider, had pegs on the bottom, and he could ride it, and it'd be like a giant platform to ride. Because that would be so cool to see him like this, riding a platform. Yeah. Like, if you could balance him perfectly, that would be awesome. Like, if you could put something right there. Right there. And he could cut down enemies and just use this as a speeder. That would be really cool. I'm going to throw this guy off to the side for now. We're going to show you this form. His Megazord form, which personally is his pet form. So, yeah. His Megazord form is his best form. And just... His Megazord form is his best form just simply because it is... Uh, simply because it's just Megazord. That's, that's all. It's, looks really good. It doesn't have to take up your other Zords. It's just itself. So, it's not ruining anything else. So you can still display your legendary Megazord. If you want. Or you could still display your... Something... I'm sorry I dropped that. There. You could still display your something or other. Or other or other. Da da da. da, da. Ah, this way. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's. Overall, I like this mode much better. Sorry, I should be telling you how to do this. Um, so yeah, here you just fold out these bits and connect them, and you got your legs. Separate this, fold this part down, both sides. Uh, do that, then, well, take this off, take this off, take this off. Take this, and, sorry, no, uh, take this, and this. Throw this right, and it'll peg into two slots right there. Personally, I like to separate that for now. You could have done the other part I'm talking about earlier, this part, before you connected it, but you slip this, there's a little scoop there. You slip it in there, which is cool, and then you gotta click the head back close the head down, then there's a little hole right there for this guy, this chest plate, and you just slide it in from the top, ah, good, slide it in from the top, and then take these, and make sure the clicky clicky thingies are facing out, and the arms are forwards. I like this part really well, the arms, because it's really nice and pointed and stuff. I just, I just like it. Um, so yeah, there, go like that. And then all you have to do is combine the two, which is actually pretty tricky. There. Okay. It looks really good. The head is a little weird looking. You're supposed to separate 
that, sorry, that, and it looks a little better, but the head is really small and squished. It would have been better if it was big and everything, but overall, I wish the Japanese were, erosion could have done this, because it was such a big, great Megazord. Like, I really wish it could have done this. So, yeah, and, um, here it is. It looks really nice. I just really like it. I like that that looks like an engine block right there, and it's still got the whole Gokaiger or Super Mega Force elements, but it still sort of looks like a car right here with the wheels, and I like to imagine that he can wheel around and everything. Plus, these look like blades. It looks really good, especially because they did an original design. Uh, one thing to note that I forgot to mention when he was in a car mode is these things right here the wheels bend down, so he can become sort of like a Back to the Future DeLorean, like the Back to the Future DeLorean, where the wheels bend down, so he can fly away. Only the front ones do it in Japan. The Japanese version, both, all of them did it, so yeah. I'm sorry. That is embarrassing. My camera wasn't focused on it at all. At all. It wasn't focused on the Megazord when it was up there. Okay, I'm just gonna say, these blades look really good. Uh, I like the whole, this thing looks like an engine block, that, everything. Um, the head is really small. Yeah. Um, those wheels turn, and everything. So now let's get combining. So, for this guy, all apart. Completely apart. Oh, shoot keeps happening. I also really like how his chest is formed, because his chest isn't really complicated. One sec, let me... Actually, these don't need anything to happen to them. They're perfectly fine. Uh, the chest is formed, but, and it's covered up by this thing, but it's simply this guy, the wheels, and the claw. The claw. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we take this dude, take his swords, uh, take his limbs, throw them away because they are stupid, and we do not need them. Now we got this guy. Take that. Throw it away. So we just need the Red Ranger's sword. That's it. Um, bring in the Q-Rex. Uh, rip off his arms. And say, screw you, go away. Cool. So now, we have Q-Rex arms, which we put on the arm sockets. Yes. Make sure this is folded up. That's needed. Da-da. And then we. Ooh. Hmm. Curious. Ah, yes. Ooh, we put the legs on. Da da. Hmm. In this point. The legs separate, I'm pretty sure. He's... I don't really know if he's supposed to be that tall. It looks awkward. Oh, sorry. The legs don't separate. That's just because of the nature of the body of the main Megazord. These leg extensions must fold away. Sorry. Like that. 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 There. That's good. So, yeah. These arms you must go oh shoot. Fold them together and just combine them. And then in Japan, wait, yeah. Uh, the Japanese version was completely spring loaded for the whole chest plate. This isn't needed yet. I can do the claw though. Um, claw, right here. That just helps a bit. 
and it pops right over the hand. Close that. You could have the dinosaur eating the claw. That would have been cool if they made it like that. But yeah, they have the claw now. Uh huh. Take this. Put it back in here. Take. Sorry. Oop, oop. Gotta make sure it goes all the way in. Now take this, turn this big guy around. Take these, fold those back, make sure to do that. And pretty sure, watch out for those two parts. And there. So he's got his face there, fitting perfectly. So yeah. Then put that part down. Let me put that away. Eh, fold those two down. Ah, yes. Like that. Throw them upside down. Oop. And then you... And then you take the swords and you gotta put them in the helmet. It's tricky. Um, it's not really specific which side goes where, but because the one side has the flag on it, it's just got to fit in like that. So yeah, here. And then you just put the giant... Oh. It never likes to get in. Oh, sorry. I had it wrong. That. That. Uh, you fold the black tab down. And then when you're putting it in, I'm get you gotta put your finger on the black tab there. So now he is almost done. You just gotta oop poop there and split that there. He is a very weird looking Megazord. Truly, he's tall just because of the swords. If he without the swords, he's just normal height. Um, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, he looks... Eh? But I think he would look so much better if they had actually put a sticker here or painted it. Like, I'm fine with sticker. Japanese version had paint, but I would be fine with a sticker. Just because it looks too... It's just black. And it just really doesn't look good. And these shoulders are just a little clustery. And the head is really big. So, yeah. But overall, he's okay. Um, so, yeah, he doesn't do anything um, with the key, inserting the key or anything. But, yeah, he's the final form. So... Yeah, this has been a review of the Power Rangers Super Mega Force Turbo Falcon Megazord and its functionalities. Uh, could you please? I hope you could like and sub like, comment, and subscribe, and um, check out my Twitter, uh, Oscar Baby One, and also could you check out uh, also. Come back next time and have a great day.